Today, I would like to tell you a little something about a really big deal. Using deep learning algorithms to help save endangered whales. For example, the North Atlantic right whales. In 1991, there were around 300 of them. Fortunately, the situation is getting better, and today there are almost 500. The US-based National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has played a big role here. This slide shows a picture of Christine Kahn, one member of the team that tracks the waves. They fly over the ocean and take pictures of the waves. Then they need to identify which whale is which. That is where the challenge comes in. Some whales are very unique and easy to identify. So unique that they even have names. Please meet Clover and the handsome Quasimodo. But sometimes our whales appear so similar that it is almost impossible to say which is which. Like here in this slide. It is actually a good time to turn the lights on because I am going to ask you a question. How many different whales you see? Please raise your hand if you think that there is one whale, the same one in every photo. OK. Who thinks that there are two whales, but one shown twice? OK. And who votes for three different whales? OK, thank you. So now we can start to appreciate the kinds of problems Christy and her team have to deal with. It is so difficult because our whales don't pose very well. They're partially submerged, and pictures are taken from different angles. But the main challenge is that we, humans, are completely incapable of remembering 500 whale faces. So now, let me answer the question. We have here actually two whales. Congratulations. But how can we really know that? So one day, Christine was taking a break from powering over whale images to log onto Facebook. She was greeted with a notification asking her to confirm that she was in a picture. Hmm. So why couldn't she do something similar with our whales? Long story short, she organized a competition on Kaggle where the goal was to create software that takes a picture of a whale and then automatically identifies which of the 500 it is. We at DeepSense.io took part in the competition and wrote an algorithm that first detects the head of the whale in a picture, then it localizes its face and makes from it kind of passport photo, and now the problem became far more similar to human face recognition than we expected. We managed to win this contest, and our model was able to correctly identify the whale 87% of the time. All of that was possible using deep learning solutions, techniques, and open source software that are available today. But why am I showing you this? Because it brings a broader problem into focus. Professionals from a range of disciplines encounter problems that could be solved using deep learning techniques even today, but they don't know it. On the other hand, we, data scientists, don't know what problems need solving, so we can't help, even though we could. I call this the awareness chasm. We at DeepSense.io are trying to bridge this chasm by helping other companies to create and use deep learning solutions for their businesses. If you'd like to hear more, please come by our booth to discuss what we can do for you. And finally, I would like to invite everyone who is interested in the technical details of our 
of our deep learning solution for whales to our session today that starts at 11.15. Thank you.